Hello beautiful soul family, it's Brianne here. Welcome to my channel, Readings with Brianne. If you're new here, it's so nice to have you join me on this journey. So feel free to hit that subscribe button um, or we can dive into different tarot topics, uh, crystal ball gazing and a lot of other things. <laughs> um, but I wanted to do kind of a mini, mini tarot read on something specific. Um, I came across a video the other day um, about astrology and some hiccups or more or less a natural disaster that could potentially happen out in Japan. Um, and I was doing my old, own crystal ball gazing to see if I can kind of dig deeper into this and pull the tarot to see if this is something that looks like it may manifest. Um, so we're going to pull some tarot today on that. I will say looking into this last night, I was pulling some tarot and there was quite a bit of indication that there is going to be an event happening um, in Japan. So specifically, I mean, we have here um, the um, natural disaster that we had back in 2011 and it was quite devastating it, it there they've got on record it's you know taken at least 20,000 lives um, so it was quite quite a, a sad um, and devastating event that happened so I guess I'm trying to look into this upcoming situation to see is this going to be just as big as that or you know on some level is it going to be you know what's the energy behind it more or less um, I will say it's kind of interesting because when I was connecting with spirit they were they did mention a few words that are kind of unsettling such as they were talking about a lot of sadness um, I do feel like there could be potential lives taken um, from this next big thing that's happening um, and they did also bring up the word water big water which again ties into the tsunamis um, but is it an earthquake is it a tsunami um, the one thing that's interesting is when I was crystal ball gazing um, a little bit earlier on this I specifically was seeing a volcano um, I was trying to see if there's anything else that I could see pertaining to this and I just kept seeing a volcano seeing a volcano so um, when I asked spirit is there going to be a volcano that erupts erupts in Japan they said it's going to be mixed is what I got um, so it's kind of again it could be say either a tsunami or it's like an earthquake in in the waters that create the tsunami that also like trigger and erupt a volcano so unfortunately it does look like oh and they were talking about sand and I believe they said storm sand a sand something to do with sand and that's you know near the waters near the beaches um so it it looks it looks like unfortunately um there is a lot of heavy energy when it comes to this topic and the potential of what could happen over the next month um i'm really getting this is more or less in in the next say month or so here i guess you can say july august like, where are we at today we're mid mid july almost here so I wanted to pull some cards though and see if I can try to find out a little bit more like is this gonna be a tsunami is this gonna be an earthquake I don't know let's see what the tarot have to say about this all right spirit are there any upcoming uh, natural disasters for Japan with happening within the next three months here let's look at the next three months for Japan any natural disasters? Ah, oh boy, that's not really a great start. This tower actually, I believe, came out when, uh, when we were looking at this last night as well. Seven of Swords. Let's see if I can get this in here for you guys. It's looking like some heavy energies, I'm not going to lie here. Okay, whoops. All right, so let's see what we have here. So it does look like a bit of a heavy energy, especially if we look at Japan here. We have, have the tower um, again, and it's kind of interesting if we look at the near future, the Six of Swords here. I mean, I'm actually just really drawn to the imagery of these cards 
almost not so much you know it's kind of like look at all the water so there could be you know like when i heard big water there could be lots of flooding here um, but i feel like it could be even maybe resulting into a um see this is kind of making me think it could be some kind of an earthquake it's interesting but also okay I kept seeing, I do keep seeing in the crystal ball a volcano. And if you look at that Seven of Swords and you look behind this, let's see if I can get it to zoom in here. Um, if you, it keeps coming up a little blurry here. But if, yeah, okay, there we go. If you look behind him, we have the a mountain. And it does look, I mean, in this case, these are kind of clouds. But right over here, it does look like there's even like a bit of a smoke or some kind of thing coming out of there. So this could also be that symbolism of a volcano. So that's, I do get the volcano from the crystal ball for some reason. So, um, but is that going to be it? I don't think so. There's definitely something with water, either water or also an earthquake, or, you know, unfortunately, possibly all three here. But you know what's interesting? This Seven of Swords, and we have the moon. Um, the Seven of Swords is, screaming out here with these two cards manipulation i feel like maybe we can even save this for another video but it's like i mean i don't feel like it's a secret but it's like one of those things where there's been so much weather manipulation it's causing causing some havoc here but i feel like this even though this is a natural disaster i feel like it has been manipulated in some way to happen because it's like somebody is manipulating this energy for this to happen to japan this is what i'm getting from this energy here um because look at that past that knight of swords someone's they, they've got a plan they are rushing towards a plan and the plan is to manipulate japan with something that such as an earthquake or a tsunami here to cause cause a lot of um people getting being trapped a lot of people could be trapped as well i mean spirit was talking about sadness as well loss and sadness so there could we could see we could see a bit of um some devastation happening here when it comes to a let's call it a natural disaster in japan i'm gonna pull a few more cards but let's get an oracle what's the energy what is the what, is there a message behind this what is <laughs> okay interesting i always i always on a side note laugh who does this card look like to you guys i'll let you guys decide comment below <laughs> um but it is going to bring some kind of awareness to the people here look at that it's going to bring partnerships and alliance and awareness to the situation because i don't feel like this is just your normal natural disaster i feel like there's been a lot of manipulation with these with the moon the moon is hidden secrets lies deceit manipulation so it's it's definitely um something dark going around the situation of this um event that could potentially take place in japan here um but let's get see if we can get a couple more cards um is this going to be anything compared to the 2011 let's say fukushima um, accident situation Ah, the Seven of Cups, the Two of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands reverse. Let's get one more. Oh, and the Hierophant. So there's definitely something dark going on behind the scenes of this situation. And it's kind of interesting because Spirit was talking about sand. Sand. When you look at this, this is actually reminding me of like a sandstorm um so that's quite interesting but this is definitely um a lot of confusion a lot of i feel like chaos happening for the people and you know definitely a difficult decision or like a diff difficult situation for the people here of japan um the ten of wands reverse too this is again like a heavy energy this is kind of not getting anywhere so um i feel like it is going to be 
so just lots of lots of problems lots of um unfortunately it seems like there there is a lot of heavy energy to this reading and it's definitely caused by some some force in the background here uh that hierophant looks kind of uh look at that face <laughs> it's not looking very uh peaceful peacefully here um but oh my goodness yeah it's it's definitely a bit of a bit of a heavier energy a lot a lot on the people for the certain situation that's happening or it's like um the potential to happen because this ten of wands this is kind of like a collapse a breakdown here um, so it's definitely going to be quite a bit of challenges that people are going to face based off of this energy. And I do think it's going to happen really sudden. So it is looking like with this eight of wands energy, this is something that could happen in the next, I would say, even you could look at eight days to eight weeks kind of situation. So this does seem like this is something that is unfortunately right around the corner. So definitely holding, holding our, our hearts for certain situations that could um happen out there and just sending lots of love blessings and like prayers to the people here because it definitely is a heavy energy and there's there's something going on in the background that's for sure going on with the japan and any natural event here we have a great shift so even though this could be um you know definitely difficult in terms of this but look at this on the bottom too we have a spiritual awakening so this is as it's like these unfortunate situations do bring people together as well they bring awareness to certain situations so i don't think that whatever whoever is causing or who manipulating certain energies to have this to happen this is definitely bringing a big awareness to the situation we have um spiritual development here and we have connection and completion so this is all about um positive shifts that are going to you know come out of it at the end there there's like there's light at the end of the tunnel even though this is a bit of a heavy read here and on the bottom we do have interesting we have um, a spiritual awakening so this is about new beginnings and heading in the right direction um, and belief systems underneath that so certain belief systems are going to be dropped and i don't feel like um it's like there is there is a bit of a a celebration but it's going to be uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a bit of um bumpy here because it looks like it's going to it's going to cause unfortunate some unfortunate casualties is what i'm feeling so it's kind of hard to you know talk about the celebration when it's such heavy energies but there there is um a bigger I want to say spiritual awakening underneath all of this chaos here. Whew. Um, yeah, I almost feel like I'm at a little bit of loss of words because it does feel like a heavy situation. Um, let's see here. What advice? How could we help with this situation? We've got this. Oh my gosh, we got the tower again, you guys. Um, so pretty much what I'm getting with this message bottom of the deck, the queen of swords, just being able to communicate clearly our love, our compassion for these, in, for individuals that have to experience the situation. Um, and I, you know, the cups is all about heart, sending that heart out, sending your love, sending your blessings, um, prayers, meditation, uh, just going, going into the collective, because you know, when you, when you look at a group of people that get together and say meditate there's a there's a, a large amount of number and they will there is actual studies there's things to show how much of a positive outcome that has when people band together and they connect and they meditate so it's about all of us helping all of us using certain um sending out our love sending out our prayers our meditate like meditation it's like group meditation um and working together with others 
through this difficult situation. So um, I, f I, I just completely feel like I have a loss of words right now. Um, so I just want to say like, thank you guys for joining me through this tarot read. Um, it does feel like there's a little bit of heavy, heavy energies over the next say month or two months, or maybe within the even eight next eight days to eight weeks kind of situation um, in terms of some natural event, or let's say a bit of a disaster happening in Japan. So just staying in a heart space and coming together as a community i feel like as a collective as a community and sending our love our compassions and our prayers to anyone that may be involved with this potential um situation so lots of love to you guys wherever you are on this journey um, and until next time bye for now